Folks, I'm back in here, back in the florist shop, packing up Easter. Thought you might want to help. Get some packing up tips and organizing right here on my take on Home and Garden. Hey guys, thanks for coming by. I know some of you like to see more behind the scenes too and what goes on. Now what I've got going on is all the smalls, vases, <laughs> believe it or not, in this room. I like to organize by bringing everything together. So there's only six more large vases in the living room, okay? And I'm gonna show you what's on the table. This is how I like to set up to be organized. So the kitchen table, I'll bring everything that I used in this area, which is, you know, the lounge, the breakfast room, the uh, kitchen, and I'll bring everything over to here. Alrighty, so all the cute chocolate molds, I'm just bringing everything to the table so I can get organized. And then things that I know are going upstairs, they're going on a tray up to the storage room. And then I'll compile that here as well. Everything here, it looks like a lot, but when you're organized, you find out it's not so much a lot. <laughs> and it's not too bad. This plate has a spot right in the uh, pantry to be put, put away right away. Okay, and then I've got what we had on the fireplace those have to go away too. And there's a spot in the cupboard for them. A whole shelf in the kitchen cupboard for pink. Depression wear and collectibles. Alrighty, that's some of what we're doing. And if I look like I got a cold today, I do have a cold. Oh, I was so mad. I caught my butt. Went all year. <laughs> okay, went all year without a thing. Then, you know, the darlings pass it around at school and bring it home. And I finally got it. And it's, you know, when it happens to me, when it's 92 out, and then it's 52, and then 91 out, and then it's 51. <laughs> Can anybody relate? That's when you catch a cold. So, forgive my sounding like a nasal commercial. <laughs> now, I'm gonna start taking some of these apart, and I know you don't care about all of that, but I'm gonna get to a point and show you what I like. Hey, for you new folks, check out that store. And don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. Let us know what you think. Hit that bell notification and you'll never miss a video. We have a lot of fun right here with our family on YouTube right here on my take on home and garden. Now we'll look at this a minute. You know, when you enjoy what you're doing, it makes a job become not a job. It simply becomes taking care of your nice things that you enjoy. So that's how I, you know, get that mental attitude build up first. And a lot of you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, I hope that, you know, 
I can help with their thinking. So one thing we know we're not going to use again very much of is pink. And I've got to separate out some smalls because there's only so many of them. Okay, so I've got different categories, of course, which I do in either like flowers or colors. So as I'm putting away, you know, you've been with, with us before, I'm thinking about what I'm doing next at the same time, of course. So I'm thinking about summer arrangements. Here's that white we need for a white bin. Sometimes it's very sentimental to take the baskets apart, yes. <laughs> I agree. Can be really tough taking them apart. So generally, the uh, lavender I'm leaving out on the table for now. A lot of this I can still use, especially the off-white. I'm comfortable when I work and put things together. That's the best. That makes it become not such a job, right? That's when it becomes more fun than anything. Now there was a lot of them in that basket. <laughs> a ton. So a lot of cabbage rows, but we're, you see we're separating them because I'm not worried about the species, I'm worried about the color. That's the first thing that's going to help me accomplish what I want when I change up everything. Look at this one here. This is easy, right? And I'm going to cross, cross them. So all I got to do to get at them, pick this up and I can get it all of them. And this I know I'm not going to use again, so I could think about it this way, huh? Just put that on top. Now I will go around with the bag for the eggs. And then I'll have a bag for the Easter grass and get those tidied up. Alrighty, now I invite you to see how quick the rest of this goes. Once I have got to a point, which was putting all the violet mostly and lavender away, and the bigger things, and you get used to what you have, you know. So, this is when it really takes off. There's a whole bin of those, and I'm bringing up my bin for smalls, which is a little bit of everything, but a lot of lavender, little bushes, but again, everything's miniature here. Just want you to see how quick it seems to go once I get to this point. Here's white. Everything Eastery. Lilies. More Easter eggs. Just a handful over here. Pink ball dahlia. White roses in their separate bins. Pink and white. You know that daisy's going to get used, and we're going to save the ferns out. See how this is going now? And look at, we almost have a whole bin. And this is what's such a riot. 
Now these lavenders, okay, I'm gonna make sure they're over to the side. Mini basket. I know, break your heart, see it come apart. But the fun is just around the corner. How eastery is all this pink? We've got minis, tulips, rose bunches and bushes. And we have pink. And those are cute. Right away that the bigger white and the baby's breath I know I'm gonna use again. And you remember me saying if you know this anyway, Easter is the next biggest holiday if after Christmas around here because of the decor and the florals easily the next one this got tangled because I didn't want to cut these and they're bent around each other <laughs> We'll get it, and we'll get them back, because you know, hmm, I think we're going to use some yellow for summer, you think? <laughs> yeah, you know it. Got to have yellow, so we'll put that wire back, get the minis out of the way, that light green which is so spring now crocus I don't think we're going to use the rest of the year <laughs> that comes out once a year and these fancy pink mums are done. Now you can see clearly I have a table full of empty, medium, and small vases. And those are going to get put away into their respective places. And I'm going to move the cameras and we're going to look at what else I got to do. Like the big floor bases, got to take them apart, and the shelves. Alrighty, now all I've done is remove all the bins after they were filled with the medium and small florals. The spring decorative plates are coming down. So here's our glorious, oh, Pom pom hydrangea. And all Bavarian. Just incredible, beautiful. Love the Nippon and the Austrian plate. So that's a drop in the bucket. Old Britain Castles is coming down. You know, I told you. All the pink is getting put away. And I know you guys are ready because we've been looking at it now for really, believe it or not, a couple of months <laughs> so I like to get everything off that I'm gonna change out 
get a paper in between each plate and we got that going on on both ends and you know these are going back in our Johnson Brothers hutch but that's all that's in that one and it's exciting and it's sad at the same time <laughs> you know but we motor on we'll get a jump on this and then we'll take another look really sentimental to see these tins go down that is a changing of the season to me now we're going to change out our mantelpiece too that will be a fun video the pink milk glass goes away even if you only get your hands on one piece of this guys it's just gorgeous pink milk glass by Jeanette glass acorn candy dish a covered dish pink roses definitely <laughs> gotta go a little bird I have a feeling you're gonna make a return and the big birds will have to see probably cockatoo They're called cockatoo cute. <laughs> he might have to go because he's got some pink. Woo, not much left after I take the pink down. Man, I don't know if I got enough to replace all this without the pink. I hope I don't have to go shopping. <laughs> ah, don't let that one out. <laughs> but here is the most of what we're going to get done today. These might stay but they got to be lowered down. Okay, we'll see. I'm never in a hurry to put those away. The birds are too cute. Man, whoo, look what's left. Not much. Even the lavender has a home. in Angela's amethyst collection so we'll pull that out so folks you know the best part of today is we're getting ready to do decorate with me for summer please come by for the next video and it'll be more fun because you can decorate with me for summer Thanks guys for coming by. Take care now and we'll see you soon in the Decorate With Me for Summer right here on my take on Home and Garden. We're going to really change it up and have a ton of fun. Take care now everybody. See you soon.